Hello, um, another presentation from Crafty Notions and I'm Sarah Lawrence. What I'm going to show you is how to use the moulding mesh um, to make three dimensional bowls and vessels. There are over 30 colours of the moulding mesh so the choice is absolutely um, wonderful. You can really choose the colours to suit the personality of the piece that you wish to fit in with other projects or just try some colours that you wouldn't normally use. I'm using the gold and violet option and I have taken some out of the packet um, and to make the vessel you just need to fold the piece in half and then you need this really exotic mould, um, a piece of fruit. I've chosen an orange but you can also use apples or melons or any fruit. Um, most people will be able to get hold of something, um, grapes even, or tomatoes. You can also obviously mould around solid objects, but you just need to be aware that they do need to take a little bit of heat as we're going to be using a heat gun on the product. So place your chosen fruit in the centre of your double folded um, moulding mesh, gather it up and this can take a little while because the moulding mesh does rather have a, a life of its own and is a little bit of a hooligan. Um, but by gathering it up into a, a little package, to secure it, um, simple thing, an elastic band. Don't wrap it too tightly, um, just a couple of twists will be fine. And then we're ready to do the next stage, which is where you do need a heat gun. And um, there are different sorts of heat guns. The one I have here is a, a two-speed one, and it's the lower speed that I'm going to use. If you do have one that only has one speed, then I suggest you hold the heat gun a little further away. The um, moulding action takes place pretty quickly. Um, so um, don't be um, too nervous of not putting enough heat on. It's much better to hold the heat gun, even with a two-speed heat gun, a little further away um, until you get the measure of how the process is going to work. So I'm just going to turn this on. Very gently applying heat, you'll see a very subtle movement. And as soon as you see the movement that's grabbing and moulding to your chosen mould you move along. If you do hang the heat on in one area for too long, which I will show you in a moment, then you can get wonderful distressed effects but if you're not after a distressed effect then I really would, as I'm doing here, move swiftly along so that you don't burn the holes. But just to give you an idea of what does happen if you hold the heat on for too long or you wish to create is, see how it beautifully splits and distresses. You get these wonderful little dancing filaments. So there we are. So having moulded the um, filaments round the, um, in this case, orange, um, we're going to look at doing something um, artistic with the top and it involves being cruel and chopping all the excess um, fibres away. And of course these pieces can be used creatively at some point in the future. And you can see here I've just chopped the top off and to create um, um, a fringing effect, I think a fringing effect was an accurate description, if you just press, hand press the material down, the moulding mesh down, and again with the heat gun, just play the heat onto the underside and the nylon filaments will move towards the source of the heat, so it gives a degree of control as to how the fringing and the frilling of this top portion um, actually um, becomes part of the decoration and now I've done that I can see that um, some of the filaments are exposed I quite like that I could go on a little longer but what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put the heat directly onto the tips of the nylon fibres and you'll be able to see in the close-up shots that we do later on 
how wonderful these dancing filaments actually look. They look like little um, fibres, um, all knotted and very delicate as well. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And the question is, how do we get it off the orange? Well, it's rather nippy. You just undo your elastic band, or if you haven't um, got the patience, just snip the elastic band off. And then very, very gently open the top out. And apart from having a beautifully warmed orange to eat, you also now have an exquisite little vessel that can be used just as it is perhaps pop some um, sweets in for a friend for a wrapping, or you can make it into something more artistic by stitching, gluing and adorning it to make an absolutely wonderful object art. Have fun!